Hello my friends, today we are doing a retouching on product photography. We will retouch this image that I took yesterday and let's see the original image was something like this. Let's see what problems it has and how will we fix it. If I zoom at 100%, you will see that the tip of the lipstick was missing. We also had some fingerprint over here and then we had lots of dust and scratches going on. I have a reflection of myself over here that I could have fixed that on camera by, you know, shooting through a black board, but I didn't do that. And I have all this dust that, you know, I need to clean up. So I will show you how to do that and we'll also rebuild the lipstick over here. So I'm going to, so that was the before, let's see. And this is the after, all fixed. I'm going to delete all these layers of my edit and we'll start from the beginning. Now I want to start with the lipstick part over here. I want to zoom in pretty tight and we will rebuild the tip of the lipstick. So let's see. I will use the clone stamp tool and I will take a sample, maybe make it smaller. And I will take a sample from over here and then we will build it upwards, something like that. It's not perfectly straight. Make sure you're lining up really good so it's straight. And I'll choose a sample from here too. And then we are going this way. Just using the clone and stamp tool. We're gonna make a pointy tip over here. All right, that's not bad. This side maybe needs a little bit of work. All right, that's not bad. So that is good, we did that. Now we gotta clean up a little bit of the lipstick and for that I will use this um, spot healing brush. I'll make my brush smaller and start dragging around. Make sure I make it smaller and bigger using the left and right bracket keys. And we want to clean up all these markings and impurities. All right, now I'm gonna make it bigger and try to get this fingerprint off, something like that. That is not bad. Great. And now we keep going down the lipstick and we're gonna remove this shiny part over here. That was not good. If you make a mistake, then just go command Z to undo and then try again. And just cleaning up the dust onto the shiny metal. Just like that, we have a big spot over here, we have here, and of course we have to remove the mine reflection. Oops. Let's see. And now to remove this reflection, I will use the clone stamp tool. Let's try the just the spot healing brush first. See how it does. Well, it's not bad, but it's not perfect. Let's use the clone stamp tool. So I'll use that and I'll sample from the above section. And that is not bad. I do want to get my brush softer. So that way I don't get harsh edges. Something like that is not bad. And then I'll go back to the spot healing brush and clean more of these impurities over here. If you ever cannot see where your brush is, sometimes it's hard to see it, just hold down spacebar and this little hand will show up for moving and that just, you know, makes it easier to see where your brush is. All right, we're moving down the lipstick here. Just like that. There's one big dust spot over here. Like that, let's see. Command zero to fit the screen and that is looking better already. Let's see, this is our 
before this is the after so far i know there's a lot of dust spots over here onto the cap so i'll use the same spot healing brush and just quickly clean up some of this stuff and then in a second i'll show you a cool way to remove the dust and the smaller impurities so let's see this looks a little bit funny there, so I'll fix it. All right, let's see. Great. That is looking good. Do we have anything on the cap over here? A little dust. Command zero to fit the screen. That is not bad. Let's take care of this dust over here. As you can see, there's just a ton, a ton of dust. So we're gonna do this in two sections. For the first one, let's do a command option shift E to make a stamp layer. And now what I will do is go to filter, I'll go to noise and dust and scratches. And now into dust and scratches, I have it at 16 that pretty much removed everything, but I think it's a little bit too much. So I'll go down to around maybe six is too little, eight. Eight will remove most of the small stuff. So I'm going to click OK. And then I will make a negative mask. To make a negative mask, a black mask, hold down Option and click on the mask. And now we have a black mask. That means nothing is showing that we did here to remove scratches. And then I will take a brush with a white color. If you have different colors here in the swatches, click D to reset them. And then with white brush, just paint over to remove the scratches and dust. So this one will just remove the smaller scratches and dust and then we'll come back and fix those bigger ones. But this one will do great for most of the things. So just move along and paint this off. There we go. Great. Here we have some bigger ones. For this bigger one over here, let's see. I could just use the spot healing brush, but I do have some bigger ones over here too. So I'll make another stamp layer, Command Option Shift E. And this time I will go to Filter, Noise, Dust and Scratches, and I'll go with a bigger radius until I see those going away. So let's see if I go with 13 then they are mostly gone maybe i just need a little bit more 15 and that they are completely gone now so click ok make a black mask again so hold down option click on the mask and now we get to paint with the white brush just to remove these bigger problem areas and i know i have some more over here there we go we'll remove those two and it's looking pretty clean let's see move along maybe some more over here and there you go now if i group these two layers together click on the first one click on the second one command g and i turn it on and off look at all the dust we had before that's before and after before and after and that is so much easier than having to go individually to you know tap 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 this line over here I want to remove, so let's see, I'll make a new layer and I will take the spot healing brush and let's fix this problem over here and maybe this one. There's a little bit more dust over here. I could use the dust removing method for this one here too, but I think we did a pretty good job. Command zero to fit to screen. Let's see our image. This is the before. This is the after, before and after. I apologize for the background noise, but I do have construction going on. And I think this looks fantastic. We did a great job and I am pleased with the way Im the image looks now. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.